In this video, we'll be showing you how to install the power distribution connectors onto a PowerPacked B-Frame circuit breaker. For this video, we'll be using the six-hole power distribution connectors. However, there is also a three-hole option that would be installed in the same way. Before installation, always make sure to consult the safety information and the instructions provided with the kit and never work on energized equipment. First, you'll remove the green connection system cover by putting a flathead screwdriver in this slot and then working it until it comes off of the breaker, like so. You will then remove the lug kit that is currently on the breaker by sticking a small flathead screwdriver into the slot below the lug kit and leveraging the lug kit out of the breaker. Like so. You'll need to install the terminal nut kit which would either be ordered separately or already installed on the breaker with a termination letter F in the third position of the breaker part number. You will put this notch into the grooves in the back of the breaker and then press down until it clicks into place. The terminal nut kits are provided with these smaller screws However, when installing the power distribution connectors, you would need to use these longer screws that come with the power distribution connector kit. You would place the power distribution connector against the terminal nuts and then tighten these screws to the required torque specs mentioned in the instructions with a 4 millimeter or 5 30 seconds inch hex drive. At this point, you would have your wires installed in the power distribution connectors and you would then install these interphase barriers into the breaker. After installing the interphase barriers, you will then place the provided labels over the side of the breaker and the front of the breaker over the previous lug information. Then you would reinstall the green connection system cover back onto the breaker and then you have your power distribution connector kit installed.